Uh, so guys, I, I think I'm onto something now. I think that this is all going to lead down to me cutting the Noble Knight cards again. Like, I started playing like a uh, Warrior Toolbox Turbo after they re release reveal this all day in like October 2017. And then by the point, like uh, when we got the deck, like I already was really, really, really good with with uh, Warrior stuff. To the point that I dropped all of the Noble Knights and played like Dark Warrior cards. Uh, that deck eventually, unfortunately, I couldn't do well with it in YCS Niagara 2018. Because I underestimated uh, the impact of dangers in the in the meta, and then there was the FTK. I was playing to Gumblar, and then I was really stupid not to play as I thought as well. So, but that really doesn't have anything to do with the engine. As long as I didn't play like I started flopping in that event after I started facing like danger matchups. Before the danger matchups, I really didn't have any problem. Like one dude literally in the first round was playing Sky Striker. He uses impermanence. Ash and Drodden and Lackbird and he did, and I still could gumbler him for the remaining of his three cards. Like he was like uh, wow what the fuck is going on? So yeah, in, in that way like I knew that Grefner and Armageddon Knight would be touched on the list way before most people realized it. And now I feel more or less uh, the same in more or less confident in this combos like I'm gonna show you. I think these are the basis for a really good start. I don't know if this is the best we could be aiming for, but keep in mind that these decks, that these combos are all really, really, really consistent, which is something really important for competitive. Like you can see those Quasar, Blazar, whatever combos, but they are really not consistent. And, on, and not only because of hand traps, they are really not consistent at all. So, because you gotta play a lot of bad cards. So let me show you. Here, my requirements. Uh, there are many ways to land these combos, but the requirements are usually two warriors and a tanner or three warriors. So let me show you first with Arborea, which I think is, is the strongest combo. So he sold the ads, whatever. Then I summon Doppel Warrior, then I summon Arborea, then I go for Reef. Uh, this card. It's uh, absurd. Th this card is likely, as long as Needle Fiber is legal, going to be the most important card of any single format. Because th this card is insane. Like, it gives you way too many resources and searches way too many cards. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Monstrosity ends up being really relevant. Be because this card is just insane. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. This card is going to be banned. I don't know why OCG doesn't play it. But OCG players are really weird sometimes. Like, like the fetish they had for black wings when they were really not good like like they do or uh, right key break i don't know they, they make a lot of weird decisions so i don't take them too much into account the formats are way too different but just look at this the fiber and then it gives me all three more monsters if you account for this card like then i could go up Pulusa, and at that point it's like this like is likely overkill but let me show you. Like you could dump like Bob or something to keep going next turn. Like uh, this is really powerful. And then I'm going to show you another combo, which is the same hand. So actually no problem here, but I'm going to make it differently. This card, regardless of Eve or, or the combos, has a lot of synergy with Noble Knights. And your extenders like this card can be special summon when you control no monsters or when you control a non-effect monster if you look closely like uh the token is a non-effect monster uh these guys are non-effect monsters these guys are non-effect monsters uh the galahad is a non-effect monster then these things are more non-effect monsters and then if you play like Carbonala, Carbonala Warrior instead of the uh, Raging, then more non, yeah, non-effect monster, non-effect monsters, all of these four. And then these are all more non-effect monsters. And then even if you are go all the way here, these are non-effect monsters too. So it, it's just really, really, really insane, insane, to be completely honest has a lot of synergy, it's also aired, which is important for Nature Abyss. So I, I, I performed the combo. This time with Brothers, it could be any level 4, really it doesn't matter. Then I play Leaf, 
Then I bring back brothers. If I had an extra noble knight card, I could have drawn another card, but whatever. Then I just set up the Naturia Beast. And this time I set up like Abramax because uh, setting up a 16 attack Apollosa is not going to lead you very far. At least in this way they are going to have to attack the Abramax. I mean they cannot attack the beast which is neat I guess. I mean uh, this is kind of a problem but okay this is what we can get. And let me show you another way which is like with 3 warrior monsters. So... One, two, and three warrior monsters, right? So I play this, I summon two more warriors to my field, I summon Isolde, I drop one, and I summon a Tanner level one warrior, and then I make if, and then it's basically the same play. One less draw because I can I can not draw with brothers, but but it still leads to the same exact place. Like, I don't think these combos are really, 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 really as potent as some of the crazy stuff you see, like double, triple, quasar, blazer, and stuff, but these combos are practical. If you look closely, like, you can build a deck around opening these combos, like, 100% of the time, and it's just, and when you think about it in a competitive standpoint and mindset, like, you start to appreciate this, the, the consistency this thing can offer you. Not in Noble Knights, like, Noble Knights probably are... I don't know if they could benefit much from this, but uh, on a uh, Warrior Link deck again, like they, they can do crazy stuff still, and they are really consistent. Like you can deck build around making it. For example, Armageddon Knight and any extender already. I think that Armageddon Knight by itself should lead you here because then you go like Isolda, then Isolda is going to summon. Yeah. It's Armageddon Knight and another level 4 monster, which is going to take you here. But the thing is that it's going to take you to the extended combo, which is like um, the 3 Negation Apollosa and the Nature Abyss, which is really, really, really powerful. So that's one thing. I, I mean, that's okay. So it's food just to think about it, as it's way more practical. So that's why I made this video. Tell me what do you think about this, tell me how can we improve this. I know that with Armageddon Knight, Bion or Space uh, Connector, whatever the name of the Neos that summons the Dolphin is, uh, you can make like, with any of those guys and, and any level 4 monster, you, you can make pretty much all of these combos, which is actually way more practical. Level 4 monster or a toner, which is way more practical. So yeah, see you guys.